Dolphins are some of the cutest and most playful animals on the planet. Unfortunately, they are victims to polluted waterways, garbage floating in their natural habitats, and can be helpless to the humans around them. When diver Keller Laros saw something wrong with a bottlenose dolphin during a routine night dive off the coast of Hawaii, he knew he had to do something to help. However, as he got closer, he realized the problem was bigger than expected. Bottlenose dolphins are probably the most recognizable of the 42 different species of dolphins around the world. Their sleek bodies, beautiful blue color, and distinct vocalizations make them one of the world's most popular animals. These majestic creatures typically either swim alone or in groups of up to 12, but have been seen in huge groups of over a thousand. These fast swimmers can reach speeds of up to 12 miles, 20 kilometers per hour, they are very intelligent too and use a series of individualized whistles to communicate information about their location, condition, and identity with other dolphins. Knowing all this, it's hard to imagine how anyone could contribute to harming the environment they live in, but that's exactly what happened. On January 11, 2013, Keller Laros was out diving at night, searching for the elusive manta ray in Kona, Hawaii. The dive started out like any other, and Keller was enjoying being in the local Hawaiian waters. He could see something lurking in the distance beyond the manta rays, but couldn't quite make it out as it was too dark underwater. Little did he know that this night would change him and his relationship with the ocean forever. Keller is the founder of the Manta Pacific Research Foundation located in beautiful Kona. The foundation is dedicated to the research, education, and conservation of manta rays and the marine environment. With his team, Keller follows the beautiful manta rays in his natural habitat to understand its behavior and strives to preserve its environment. They also study manta ray brains, cognition, and coloring, and educate locals and tourists alike in Hawaii and beyond on the dangers these animals face because of humans. He is also a licensed scuba instructor with over 11,000 dives under his belt and spends several nights a week in the water collecting data. It's safe to say Keller has spent a lot of time underwater and has probably experienced some pretty cool and unique things. However, nothing he had seen before would ever compare to what was about to happen that night. Keller is widely known in the scuba and ocean conservation field and has won numerous awards for his work. He won the Sea Hero Award for the month of July 2014 from Oris Watches and Scuba Diving Magazine. He received a plaque recognizing his commitment and devotion to Manta Pacific Research Foundation and the Kohala Chamber of Commerce Pualu Award for Environmental Awareness for the well-being of manta rays and the marine environment. As you can see, Keller cares deeply about the ocean and all the creatures in it. Maybe it's just a coincidence, but we like to think that fate brought Keller into the water that night and led the dolphin to him. Before he knew it, a bottlenose dolphin swam up to him from out of the darkness. Keller knew dolphins lived in the area, but he was not expecting to see one during this dive. He was stunned by the beauty and gracefulness of the creature. Scuba divers are taught to maintain a respectful distance from sea life, but this dolphin seemed determined to get right in front of Keller. Dolphins usually keep their distance from humans, so the team was wondering why this animal was getting so close. As the dolphin got nearer, Keller and his dive partner noticed something was off. There was something about it that just didn't seem right. Both divers watched the creature intently, trying to figure out what was going on. We need to remember that dolphins are very intelligent and determined. They are always aware of what is going on around them so it's safe to say that particular dolphin had swum towards the divers for a reason. This curious creature continued to get closer and closer to the diving pair. Since this happened at night, Keller shone his big flashlight, a requisite for all divers, on the dolphin's body, hoping to understand what was wrong. Since the purpose of this dive was to document the manta rays, Keller and his partner also brought a camera. Luckily for Keller and the dolphin, his partner kept filming as he discovered something that would change that night and his life forever. As the 9-foot, 2.7-meter dolphin swam in circles around the divers, he kept looking at the creature to determine what was wrong. He had thought there might be an issue with the dolphin's fins, so he focused his light on them as it swam around. Much to the horror of Keller and his buddy, he saw a fishing hook stuck in the dolphin's fin. He suspected this dolphin had got tangled in a fisherman's line or someone had tried to catch it. He was horrified to see what had happened, but was relieved he was there to help. 
As he approached the dolphin, the diver moved as slowly as possible, trying not to spook it. Much to Keller's surprise, as he held out his hands towards the creature, it didn't move away. He felt as if the dolphin knew what he was trying to do. Even though it was in this dangerous situation because of a human, it seemed to know that Keller was here to help. The diver held the dolphin in place as he tried to untangle the fishing line that was dangerously wrapped around its flipper. As soon as Keller got started unraveling the line with his bare fingers, he saw his task would be significantly more difficult than expected. The fishing wire was too tangled around the dolphin's flipper, so he had to use both a knife and a pair of scissors to cut through. He had hesitated to use his tools as he thought the dolphin would wiggle and cut itself on the blades, but it stayed still and allowed him to help. It kept looking at the nice humans in funny suits with encouraging eyes, as if to say, don't worry, friend, take your time. However, time was not something they had to spare. Dolphins rely on air to breathe and cannot stay underwater for extended periods of time. Even though this animal was stressed and probably starting to feel short of breath, it remained calm and allowed Keller to work around it. The dolphin, however, was not the only one who needed air. Keller and his partner had been swimming for a while now. Scuba divers are taught to control their breathing in order to extend their time underwater. Keller is a highly trained diver and used to spending lots of time in the water. However, stressful or exciting situations can cause us to breathe faster or harder and use up the oxygen faster. Both diver and dolphin were racing against the clock in the battle to save this creature's life. After Keller removed some of the initial fishing line, the dolphin swam a closer circle around him, almost to say thank you. Then he returned to the position right in front of him, allowing Keller to continue to work on its fin. Finally, he managed to untangle the rest of the line and swam a few feet back, one meter, to give the dolphin some space. He thought it was free and eager to leave, but it stayed close. Something was still wrong with it. When the dolphin swam even closer, Keller noticed that the other end of the fishing line was wrapped around its mouth. This would lead to certain death as the dolphin wouldn't be able to eat. Keller reached his hand out to guide the dolphin back to position in front of him, and he resumed his task. Again, he made use of the scissors to get rid of the deadly fishing line and finally managed to free the dolphin. The creature swam over his head before looking at him face to face. Who knows what was going through its mind at this moment? Keller and his team decided to name his dolphin Notch because of the gap or notch on its tail. Keller says he thinks about Notch often and wonders how it's doing in the big blue ocean. A year after the encounter, his former assistant, Ryan Lehnbach, captured amazing footage of Notch swimming healthily through the water. It's safe to say that Keller's actions that night had a long-lasting impact on its life. Thank you for watching this heartwarming story. What would you do if a wild animal came to you for help? Tell us in the comment section below. Until next time, stay safe.